Good morning. I am Pedro Ramirez, president of Associated Students Incorporated, and I, I want to welcome you to the, our 100th commencement ceremony. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, please stand to honor America with the colors presented by uh, uh, Fresno State uh, Air Force ROTC and the national anthem sang by graduating senior Elisa Moss. Thank you, Alyssa. Please be seated. Good morning. I am Michael Caldwell, Chair of the Academic Senate, Chair of the Department of Music, and a proud 1984 graduate of Fresno State. In honor of the Centennial Class of 2011, we are pleased to feature the Fresno State Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Dr. Thomas Lohenheim. The creation of a world-class symphony orchestra has been a shared vision of Dr. Vita Samian, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, the faculty of the Department of Music, and many generous individuals from the community. Please join me in thanking Dr. Lohenheim and his fine students for providing the music for today's ceremony. The Department of Music commissioned a new work for the Fresno State Centennial titled Centennial Tribute, which was premiered during performances in October 2010 by the Fresno State Wind Orchestra and the 300-member Fresno State Marching Band. The piece was composed by alumnus John Bliss, who serves as an arranger for the United States Air Force Band in Washington, D.C. John Bliss generously agreed to reorchestrate his outstanding work for the Fresno State Symphony Orchestra 
and the piece will serve as the recessional for today's ceremony. We will now present a wonderful video featuring music that serves as the soundtrack for our rich history in addition to images and sound clips designed to illuminate 100 years of excellence at Fresno State. Watch carefully as you might see yourself in one of the photos. Please enjoy this video tribute to Fresno State. Hi, I'm John Bliss. As an alumnus of Fresno State, I'm very honored to be part of the university's centennial. And I'm also delighted to share with you a few words about the music I've been asked to write. In thinking of 100 years of Fresno State, I also thought of the 100th Psalm, which begins, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So this piece is full of joyful noise. It's pitched in the key of F for Fresno, and also features the note C for California and for Centennial. These two notes together form a perfect fifth, which is one of the basic building blocks of all music, something traditional, but also of ongoing relevance, as I hope the university will continue to be. As the piece builds to a close, these notes F and C are like twin pillars, which remain constant against ever-changing harmonic turbulence around them, reflecting my hope that this institution will be of lasting influence despite changes in technology and the surrounding culture. At the close of the piece, which happens to be 100 beats long, you may hear a quote from the Fresno State fight song. I hope you enjoy Centennial Tribute. I am kind of turning 100, just like Fresno State, and I think it's a wonderful experience for both of us. Fresno State is Fresno, and it's not just football, it's not just basketball, it's not only the things that are huge. Uh, Fresno State was just, it was a lifelong dream to me. Pretty much my whole life, it was, it was just my goal to get to Fresno State one day. That was a, a dream come true for me. If you dream it, you can be it. If you have that goal, simply go for it. I have never seen such a campus. For me, it was absolutely beautiful. It was amazing, and everybody's running around. There were thousands of people. Wow, I'm in the big time. And it was for me. I was in the big time. You know, I always thought Fresno was just you know, this little town between San Francisco and Los Angeles, and I had absolutely no intention of being here more than I would have to. And what I found was this very vibrant, intelligent, extremely intelligent uh, group of professors and students, students who we could actually talk to. And uh, so I came up uh, initially for only three months, and it's 40 years later. It was just really fun to, to meet just all kinds of people from all over. One of the things I thought about, my best friend, we're still best friends to this day, we met upstairs in the USU. Because I came from another country, I, I really have never been exposed to a library that was so big before. So I really was my favorite place on campus. I walked into my room and, and I found a letter on my bed my mom had, had left there for me while I was gone. And it was from Fresno State, so I kinda, it kinda hit me that this is it. It's either gonna be a yes or no right now. And just, I opened it up and just kinda sat there, read it quietly, didn't say anything. But, I mean, the feeling I got was like my heart leaving my body. I mean, just to see that, yeah, I was accepted. I mean, I look back on that and just, like that was the start of something great. You always feel like you're a part of something. Uh, you get 
to meet new friends, and some, some are lifelong friends. How one professor on this campus took a chance on a student nobody wanted changed his life. That's what real education is about. I had a great experience here from the, the faculty. Would, I would say if I picked anything that was the most positive, it was the way that the faculty at Fresno State, when I was a student, took an interest in my life. You can't uh, put a price on it. It was just priceless. I just, I remember being shocked at the first football game because it was intense. It was really electric. Students rushed the field, fans rushed the field, players were hugging students, and they tore the goalposts down. And I mean, I, I was down on the field with them, just kind of taking it all in. And it, it was just an awesome thing to see. I can remember when we won the NCAA championship and everything stopped for me. It was like the whole community came out to celebrate. Bulldog born, bulldog bred, I'll be a bulldog till the day I'm dead. And that's, that's kind of the, the war cry, so to speak, that, that's always been in the back of my mind. Being a bulldog is, you know, participating, being active, um, contributing back, being an active alumni. Uh, it doesn't stop just after graduation. This is a university worth giving to. It gave me so much that I wanted to give back to it. I wanted to be a bulldog. And I'm so proud to be a Bulldog, and I'm so proud now to hopefully you know, be able to give back. And I just looked around and had, had one of my really close friends sitting next to me, and uh, while President Welty was speaking, I kind of looked over at him a little bit and saw a tear streaming down his cheek, and, and that's when, I, I mean, I kind of, I knew right where he was emotionally at that time. I mean, it was, those were some, some special memories that we were leaving behind. Really, it was the best experience of my life. I love Fresno State. Fresno State's been my life. It's been a place where I've had uh, some of the most amazing highs and also some lows. But it has been a place that uh, has made a huge difference in my life. When I grow up, I want to be a bulldog. A bulldog. 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 Good morning and welcome to the historic 100th commencement of California State University, Fresno. I am John Welty, President of the University. Congratulations to all of you, graduating seniors, graduate degree recipients, alumni, distinguished faculty, and very importantly, families and friends who have supported our new graduates throughout their academic careers. This is an important day for our university and an important day for all of you. It is the culmination of years of hard work, study, and sacrifice, and you should be very proud of what you've accomplished. For for 100 years, this university has been in the heart of one of the most incredible places on earth, the Central Valley of California. We enjoy the richest farmland in the world. Our residents are among the hardest working people anywhere. We have a combination of natural resources which is unique in the world. These special qualities were apparent even a century ago when community leaders started seeking an institution of higher learning in Fresno. Civic leaders in the early 1900s saw a bright future for this region because there was a shortage of teachers, or excuse me, but there was a shortage of teachers because there was no local institution to train them. The leaders worked hard to convince the state legislature that a school to train teachers was needed here. And in September 1911, the doors of Fresno State Normal School opened with 150 students. Fresno School Superintendent C.L. McLean added Fresno State President to his duties and hired one full-time faculty member and 11 part-timers.
Fresno State began the task of preparing teachers. Courses offered included manual training, domestic art, science, and agriculture. In 1912, we held our first commencement ceremony for 32 graduates, 30 women and two men. Well, well, we've come a long way. Our centennial graduating class, you, totals 5,235 students at the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral level. Instead of just four course areas, Fresno State offers hundreds of programs and majors in 64 bachelor's, 44 master's, and three doctoral subject areas. Despite the changes, one thing remains constant. For 100 years, Fresno State has been a university of opportunity for residents of Central California. We still prepare more women and men to teach in the region than any other school, and we offer an education that allows our students to work in hundreds of other careers. Our graduates are teachers, agribusiness professionals, business and government leaders, artists, artists and musicians, historians and writers, engineers, scientists and astronauts, doctors, nurses, and social workers. These professions will serve you graduates if you choose to remain here or move anywhere else in our ever-shrinking world. You took advantage of the opportunity provided you when you enrolled. Now, your future is forever changed for the better. As one of our graduates, you represent the best of Fresno State. You are how we will spark innovation and create new businesses. You are improving water resources, cleaning the air, and finding new sources of energy. You are solving some of the nation's toughest health problems. You care enough to give back to your community. As president of this great university, I'm so very proud that you, all of you, are Fresno State. In recognition of this special day, you've received a special centennial stole. Wear it proudly, and remember that as a centennial year graduate and an alumnus of Fresno State, each of you has a golden opportunity to move ahead to achieve your vision for personal excellence. Our nation, and indeed our world, faces many challenges in the years ahead. You will be called upon to provide your talents, education, resources, and leadership to resolve some of the most complex problems that face us. Know that you will be called upon to do your part to make the world a better place. And as our newest alumni, I hope you will continue to participate in the life of the university. I urge you to give back to the university that has served you and work with us in the years ahead as we become truly one of the nation's great universities. This is your university, and as a centennial graduate, there will always be a special bond between you and Fresno State. And as we move into our second century, Fresno State will continue leading the way to serve and improve the lives of people in our region and California and throughout the world. All of us working together will make a difference. Congratulations, graduates. It gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce a very special guest. Beverly Brock is the great-granddaughter of C.L. McLean, the first president of Fresno State Normal School. Although Ms. Brock erred and did not go to Fresno State, she did complete her work at a someplace called Stanford. <laughs> we welcome her this morning to our Fresno State family as a representative of the founding president, 
C.L. McLean was an important figure in the development of public education in this region. In 1899, he became Fresno School su Superintendent and a few years later persuaded the Fresno Chamber of Commerce to form a committee to advocate for a state normal school to train teachers. When legislation to establish the school was defeated in 1909, he redoubled his efforts. A law enacted in 1907 allowed high schools to offer two-year college training. So McLean pressed for, and the Board of Education approved, what in 1910 became the state's first community college, Fresno Junior College. McLean served as president as he continued to supervise Fresno elementary and high schools and promoted the normal school campus. His advocacy paid off with the passage of state legislation establishing the Fresno State Normal School. McLean added his presidency or its presidency to his obligations and <clears throat> president as school superintendent and president of Fresno Junior College. In 1913, he turned his attention solely to the college program and remained as president until his retirement in 1927. On behalf of Fresno State, I'd like to present Ms. Brock with this plaque, which reads, California State University Fresno hereby acknowledges our deep gratitude to the family of C.L. McLean, whose dedication and leadership was essential in the founding of our institution 100 years ago. Presented to Ms. Beverly Brock, May 21, 2011, along with a copy of the Fresno State History 100 Years of Excellence. Congrats. For our graduates, today marks the beginning of their careers. At the same time, this morning marks the ending of prime teaching careers of a number of faculty and administrators who are retiring and who are being honored by the conferral of emeritus status. I'd like to draw your attention to our video board where the individual names of emeriti faculty will appear. In addition, emeriti faculty are honored at various academic ceremonies and at a luncheon which is held each year in their honor. With those emeriti faculty who have joined us, please stand so we may recognize and ex express our appreciation for your years of dedication and service to California State University, Fresno. Our best wishes to you. Among the several noteworthy events occurring this morning is the awarding of an honorary doctoral degree. Honorary doctoral degrees are awarded in recognition of excellence and extraordinary achievement in significant areas of human endeavor, within which are embodied the objectives of the, and ideals of the California State University. These degrees honor meritorious and outstanding service 
to the California State University collectively or to its campuses individually to the state of California, the United States, or to humanity at large. They recognize men and women whose lives and significant achievements should serve as examples of the California State University's aspirations for its diverse student body. I wish to ask Trustee Peter Mijas to assist me in the conferral. Thank you, Dr. Welty, and uh, good morning. I'm Peter Mias, trustee of the California State University and a proud Fresno State graduate in 1962. I wish to ask A. Gerald Perincio to step forward. A. Gerald Perincio grandparents immigrated from Italy to the United States and eventually settled in Fresno in 1920 and owned the Fresno Grape Exchange and the Crestview Winery. Born in Fresno, he attended local area schools, Easterby and Roosevelt High School, before graduating from high school in Los Angeles. He received a Bachelor's of Science degree from UCLA in 1954. Mr. Perincio joined the Air Force as a second lieutenant flew T-34s and T-28s and became a single-engine jet pilot. He started his own agency, Perincio Artist, in 1964 and merged with other agency to become Chartwell Artist in 1967, which grew to be the fifth largest talent agency in the world. In 1971, Mr. Perincio co-promoted the World Heavyweight Championship fight between Muhammad Ali and Jumpin' Joe Frazier at Madison Square Garden. Many consider it to be the greatest heavyweight fight of the century. From 1973 to 1985, Mr. Perincio and his partner, Norman Lear, presided over Tannum Productions Embassy Television. They were the most successful producers of prime time television at the time, which shows that include all in the Family, Sanford and Sons, Maud, Good Times, The Jeffersons, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, One Day at a Time, The Facts of Life, Who's the Boss, Different Strokes and Silver Spoons. Also, down memory lane for some of you. Also in 1982, he co-produced the film Blade Runner. And in 1989, his partnership with Richard Zanuck he produced Driving Miss Davy, one of my favorites, which produced the Academy Award for Best Picture. In 1992, Jerry and two business partners acquired Univision Communications, which they built into a Fortune 500 company and the dominant Spanish language television network in the country. He was chairman of the board and chief executive officer until it was sold in 2007. Mr. Perincio continues to run Chartwell Partners LLC, a private investment and consulting firm he founded in the 1980s. Over the course of 55 years, Mr. Perincio has made his mark in almost every facet of the communication and entertainment industry. Through the Chartwell Charitable Foundations, he and his wife Margie are major supporters of education and the arts in the Fresno area, along with many charitable causes in Southern California. In recognition of his achievements in the entertainment and communication industries, his commitment to art education, his philanthropy, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University Fresno are proud to confer on A. Gerald Perincio the Honorary Doctorate of Fine Arts. Dr. Welty, would you please present the robing? 